dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts, your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversation. Moses and the Way Out. In this lecture, the focus is on the story of Moses and the Exodus, which plays a significant role in the Bible. The narrative begins with the Israelites held in bondage by a harsh Egyptian pharaoh. God sends Moses to demand their release, leading to their eventual escape. The story carries both encouragement and threat. It encourages the oppressed, fostering resistance and generating hope for change. However, it also threatens the, those in power undermining their strength and privilege. Disturbing reversals occur where the perpetrators of violence become victims themselves. Freedom for some means loss of control or death for others. The book of Exodus starts by recalling the immigration of Jacob's family from Canaan to Egypt. Initially, the rulers of Egypt accept the Israelites but a new pharaoh who does not know Joseph comes to power and fears their potential allegiance to his enemies. The pharaoh subjects the Israelites to harsh labor and orders the midwives to kill the Hebrew male children at birth. However, the midwives who revere God refuse to obey. The conflict in the story is not primarily between Israelites and Egyptians, but between the oppressive will of the pharaoh and the liberating will of God. Moses, born to Hebrew parents but raised as an Egyptian, intervenes in a conflict between an Egyptian and a Hebrew, killing the Egyptian. Realizing his action will be discovered, Moses flees Egypt and becomes a shepherd in the desert. In the desert, Moses encounters a burning bush to which God speaks to him. God identifies himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and expresses his intent to free the Israelites from slavery and lead them to the promised land. Moses hesitates and questions God's name, to which God responds cryptically, saying, I am who I am. God's name conveys identity while retaining an element of mystery. Moses, though initially hesitant, is chosen as God's prophet to lead the people out of slavery. However, he raises objections and makes excuses, causing people to grow impatient. Eventually, Moses is instructed to take his brother Aaron along to assist him. The Pharaoh emerges as a major figure in the narrative. Contrary to the iconic image of an Egyptian ruler with absolute power, the pharaoh's pretensions are undermined in his contest with God. Moses confronts the pharaoh, demanding the release of the Israelite slaves. The pharaoh initially hardens his heart and refuses, leading to a series of plagues reflected upon Egypt. The pharaoh vacillates and makes promises during the plagues, but hardens his heart again when the pressure eases. The narrative portrays the pharaoh's loss of control and the limits of his power. The story reaches its climax with a final plague, where the firstborn in every Egyptian household, including the pharaohs, is struck dead. The Pharaoh's past attempt to kill Hebrew male children is reversed as his own household suffers from violence. The Israelites prepare for deliverance by observing the Passover, marking their doorpost with lamb's blood as a sign to spare them. After the final plague, the Pharaoh allows the Israelites to leave, signifying his loss of authority. However, he changes his mind and pursues them with his army. The Israelites reach the sea, seemingly trapped 
but God intervenes. Moses stretches out his staff, and the waters part, allowing the Israelites to cross. The pursuing Egyptian army gets caught in the mud, and when Moses stretches his hand again, the water return, groaning the Egyptians. The narrative culminates in a dramatic reversal, where the Pharaoh's effort to keep the Israelites enslaved fail, while God's efforts to free them succeed. The story demonstrates the conflict between the wills of God and the Pharaoh and the different forms of power they wield. Victory is not achieved through force of arms, but through God's actions and the people's obedience. The story of Moses and the Exodus in the Bible carries profound themes of liberation, oppression, resistance, and the limitations of human power. It is a narrative that both encourages and threatens, offering hope to the oppressed while challenging those in positions of power. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining with us through the profound narrative of Moses and the Exodus, exploring themes of liberation, oppression, and the divine clash of will. If this story resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening lectures. If you are intrigued about what happens after the Israelites gained their freedom and how they navigated their newfound liberty in the desert, you won't want to miss our succeeding episode on Sinai, Freedom, and Law. The story delves into the complexities of human divine relationship and the profound meaning of freedom. Click on the thumbnail here to continue uh, the journey. And lastly, make sure to hit uh, that bell icon for notifications so you would never miss an episode. Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. We value your engagement and are eager to hear from you. Until next time, explore, reflect, and stay curious about life's profound narrative.